Hello world, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to align this piece of wood um, up to the end of three uh, using the laser module. So this is a four pound piece of wood from Hobbycraft. It's got a bit of a horrible knot in one side, so I'm going to use the other side. Um, so just check that out in the shop when you're purchasing. Make sure that it's uh, as good as you want. Um, but that's fine, it's it's uh, going to be a coaster, so it's always going to be face down anyway, so it's not a problem. So I'm going to grab um you, my calipers and you want to think about which way you want this lined up so where what sort of shape do you want it to be that's what i'm going for um so grabbing the calipers and i'm just going to measure out where i want the the svg logo that i'm going to put on it to be so you don't want it obviously to be outside of the outside of the size of the wood because then obviously you're not going to burn onto anything i think this will probably be about 130 by 130 will be an adequate size um so that's what i'm going to do so just measure it up decide what what sort of size you want on your project i've got a load of different things i've got bookmarks and coasters but i really wanted to try try one of these uh log cuts so um so yeah once uh, we've done that i'm going to show you how to align it okay so we're in light burn and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a frame so we're going to click the rectangle um symbol and we're just going to draw that out and i'm going to set this by clicking the selection tool and clicking on the rectangle and uh, you want to get the uh these points up here not those these ones and basically we're going to go up to the top and we're going to select 130 by 130 which is the size i've measured out on the calipers and then i'm going to come to the bottom where all these colors are and um, each color allows you to select um, select it as a different cut if we go to the t1 that actually sets it as a tool which means it can just be used as a template and won't actually be etched or engraved onto our wood it's just a guide for and the size we want our object so i'm then going to bring in my svg which is uh, the boondock saints so one of my favorite movies um or probably my favorite movie of all time um very old film but absolutely amazing um you probably recognize uh, the main character from the walking dead um yeah so uh daryl dixon in the walking dead absolutely amazing film um so yes yeah, so i'm just adding this you know make this uh coaster for my collection so so i'm lining that up to the center of where i want it um, and we are pretty much good to go with our design okay so we're back in lightburn and we've got the you can see the lightburn software and the 3d printer um separately and what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the wood onto the build plate and we're going to raise up the z axes uh, a little bit so as it fits onto there what you can do is you can mark a point in the center of the wood um to make it easier to line up if you want just use a pencil and then that will just rub off at the end of it but that's entirely up to you so i've got that all adjusted and where i want it Okay, so I'm now going to go into Lightburn and on the Move tab, I'm going to check that the device is connected. This is the end of three connected and select the right COM port, which is COM 10. And then what I can do is I can start to move the, the print head around. Now, if you haven't got this fire button enabled, you're going to have to enable that and you're going to have to go to edit device settings and make sure that the enable fire button is ticked and you'll need to restart lightburn if it wasn't there to start with so it takes effect and appears so what the fire button does is it allows us to use a 0 0.75 so a low power setting to turn the laser on and off and this allows us to uh, align the central origin where we want it so what we want to do is move the bed um, to where we think the actual center is now because this is a large piece of wood i can do this by eye really but if you've got that central mark it makes it a lot easier um, just line it up, make sure that the wood's not touching the edges of the build plate. And then I'm going to hit the fire button and you can see the laser flicking on and off here, which gives us a really easy way to line up to the center of our project. And if I just come to a different angle here, you should hopefully be able to see it better there. Now the laser, when it's working, does flicker quite a lot. So if you do have epilepsy, do look away when we start the, uh, start the actual cutting.
Okay, so now what I can do is I can um, position the laser exactly where I want it in the center, just get it all lined up nicely. And then what the idea is, is you click the, the set origin button. And once you've set the origin, you can always move back to that middle position. So for example, what I'll do is I'll home, I can home the uh, print head um, and then show you that when we click the set origin, when we go to go to origin button, um, it will go back to that central point. So um, just make sure you, once it's in the position you want, you do click the set origin. Okay, it says it does lock it in. Okay, and if you take a look at the, the printer, um, print head now, uh, what I'll do is I will get it to, to home. Um, so that's gone to the home position. And then if I click go to origin, you can see it moves back to that origin that we've set. Now I've actually got a little mistake here, so don't worry about that. Just follow those instructions and it will work perfectly. The reason it hasn't is I've actually knocked the print bed. Um, so try not to knock anything and make sure you don't like off center it or you will have issues, um, but yeah. Now the, the frame tool is really, really useful. So we've put that obviously tool set on there. If I hit the frame button, um, it will outline the frame so I can visually see where the frame sits on the project. If I hold the shift key and press the frame button, it will do it with the laser turned on at 0 0.75. So you can see here, it's just moving around um, without the laser on. It's really, it's not that useful, but once you press the shift and the frame button, it will allow you to clearly see where that laser is sitting on that frame and to make sure that you're not outside of the project area in any way. Um, so yeah, really, really useful way to check where everything is on your project. Obviously you're paying for some material. You don't want to mess it up. Um, it is set to, uh, start at the origin or start current position. So once that's in place, we can actually, um, start the project and it will start engraving within that framed position so uh, which is uh, what we want so I am making a few final checks just on the position just to make sure it's exactly where I want it and the reason for this is I don't like to waste uh, material obviously um, when you're buying products and you're making products to sell you want to make sure that they are um, perfect and you're not wasting your stock so uh, always always um, measure twice cut once okay words to live by measure twice come cut once so that's it really um, we're going to start the project and hopefully this will come out well I'm going to speed up the engraving process for you so you're not sat around just uh, just twiddling your thumbs watching a laser move left and right as fascinating as that is
Okay, so this came out really, really well. Um, really impressed with this, really like it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text over here using the same sort of method um, and possibly some more logos around here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lacquer it and that will be a uh, basically a desk coaster. So for coffee or tea, anything like that. So yeah, that's um, really impressed with that. It's come out quite dark, which is good. Um, obviously I think that's because the laser was set to 100% so really really nice um yeah nice addition really liking it so any questions um do comment below and i'll try to respond to as many as i can um also if you want to see the final product of this if you want to see how this turned out uh once i've added some extra text put the lacquer coat on um do head over to instagram at ahc me uk or just search in instagram teacher of computing and you should see my um, icon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share.